you know, my from Aussie Mike's Bees, back for another cutout. This is an obsession. Why would I do this any other way? Uh, this building is a little government facility, an early childhood care, like a preschool. No kids today, so they didn't want to risk anyone getting stung. Fair enough. And it's in a toilet. So, as you can see here, I've removed some tiles. Um, they're in, they're getting in from outside and uh, occupying down this space. I only moved in a few weeks ago, so they're not huge. Um, it's brick on the outside, otherwise, I would have gone from the outside. And they prefer to retile and fix up the bathroom instead of getting bricks put back in. So, plus, it's a security issue, I suppose, if the wall's open for any time. Uh, so we'll see what we find. And according to Fleur, they occupy up under here and they could be a little higher, but they haven't got much further to go. Obviously out to the bricks. Um, but down into this first tile row, so I took a second row off the tiles just to give me space to get under them if I need to. Because uh, often there's comb that doesn't show on the heat register that the bees aren't covering yet. So I'm just going to uh, cut down here and someone else is going to come in and fix it. Put it across the top and then go along the top and just use this uh, electrician's plasterboard cutter. Now there is metal, I'm going to put my detector on there just to see what I could find. So I'm just going to go real careful so I don't cut through any cables or water pipe that might be behind there. forwarded <clears throat> I've cut around this so I think I found a stud there so I've just gone down on the inside so this is just hanging loose at the moment I can hear the bees they know something's up they start coming out of here as soon as I get this open there they are you can see a bit of wax just in there and some bees moving and the wax is attached a little bit to the inside there so you can see not a very old colony it's only been here a few weeks so I'll just see if I can separate that off and it's going to get a bit of activity now And they're drawn to the light in the window, so, so that's the sheet I pulled out. Some nice little comb there. It's only a little colony. About the same size as the one I got from the outside of that fibro cottage. So all I can do is get vacuuming these up and uh, the comb. It's probably going to be too soft to save, and I'll see what I can do anyway. So I'll grab my vacuum and get into it. Second can 
can see the brew, tap brew. size cones. That's just about four at all. A few more bees left. The back in the month. I haven't seen the queen. I've not seen one, but where's the visibility? The light coming in the window in my eyes. So I'm just going to vacuum everything up. So gentle. I've got most of them now, but this is what happens with the ones that come out. I get drawn to the light that's outside and crawl up, so they're easy to vacuum up. I just slide up the glass. There's a drone there. Can you get back to that one? So here's the outside of that window. And it's typical when you're vacuuming them up and you've taken all their comb away that they'll congregate around the entrance just like in real hive in well in a man-made hive um, most of them are nurse bees they don't know what to do if they can find the queen they'll congregate around her so that's an entrance that I didn't know about before the entrance I knew about is a gap in the bricks in this corner I'm just going to vacuum these up as well. So far, I've only had one little sting in the finger. So why am I doing it barehanded? Well, it's not for beekeeping. If you're barehanded, you've just got a better feel. You can be more gentle with them. Still looking for that queen. Great if you found it in the uh, cage. This one from inside because it's directly over the So 
I sprayed honey be gone in the wall cavity to drive them towards this spot and to drive them in the middle of the cavity between the studs so that I can vacuum them up in clear space. It's been working well so far. And it's also having the effect of driving them out this entrance. I'll go inside and get a few more from in there. So I was just vacuuming it up on the outside, up at the window, as I've done previously, and I spotted the queen. And, very excited, here she is. She's beautiful. I didn't have a normal cage. I've, I must have trodden on it, I'd smashed it. So luckily I had this one, which does the job. And she's safe in there. So I'll just pop that up on the ledge there. And they seem to have stopped coming out there now. So I'm gonna, there's one. You can see up on the inside of the glass, I've got to go in and vacuum them up. I'm just gonna so that is closed up there now. I'll take her back inside with me in the vacuum and get those ones up on the glass. That's it, I've got the last of them. And now didn't see any stragglers up there. I should get no more in. Now I've got all the ones on the glass. So that's it for this job. Now I'll just take these girls home, pack up, pack up, <laughs> and uh, clean up the mess a little bit and head home and get them in a hive. And hopefully, now that I know that I've got that clean, I'm going to leave her in the cage for a few days just to make them stay. And hopefully, they'll get building rebuilding comb or elastic band up the, uh, the brood comb that I saved and maybe that'll survive, maybe it won't, we'll just have to wait and see. So thanks for watching, if you like hit the thumbs up button and if you hate it press the thumbs down button but I'd love a comment to tell me why you don't like it, that would be great and give me an opportunity to improve. So thumbs up, subscribe and uh, beekeeping, it's an obsession. So I brought these home, they're still in the bucket. And I've just put the queen there and she's being attended by a bee or two. So I'm just gonna frame up the uh, comb into that box before I put the bees in. Hopefully it'll work, it might not. We'll just have to wait and see. Now. So this is the first time I've done this technique. I'm copying Mr. Red, Jeff, uh, where he uses a cooler to put the, the uh, comb in and then brings it back, uh, back to the abbey where he is, but I'm bringing it back home to my apiary, and which is my home apiary. I just have a look at this comb and I cannot see eggs in there, but you know, it's a nice comb. This one has brewed in there, uncapped and capped. I don't know if it'll survive. I'll just trim. To get it in. Pre-positioned the uh, elastic bands. Hopeful that we'll get some good out of that. Yeah, I know I could put some more in here and I may do that yet. We'll see. I've got some cat brood there, all the rest of around here is uncapped. There might be eggs in there too. I think I can see eggs in some of those. It's only a little colony. Who knows if it'll this will work. Normally what I do, so I've got some 
larvae that's popping out of the cells so they're under duress. Uh, so normally what I do is I frame up on the job and I just I saw one of Jeff's videos where or well, several of his videos actually where he puts them in the cooler and that should maintain temperature. And then frames it up back at the, the apiary. So I'm trying that for the first time today. Because I've got to say, I, I don't have a huge success rate with saving the brood, doing it with the framing up on the site. I frame up on site, put a bunch of bees on the frames as well to generate that heat. But there's always a lot of bees land up being turfed out so there's a huge a huge casualty rate last piece so both sides I've got larvae and there's nectar in the top not seeing much in the way of pollen at all So it's a lot, a lot less stressful this way uh, because you're not surrounded by bees everywhere. All the bees are in the back here. it up. Now all the others are new foundation. I've had so many swarms and cutouts in these last few weeks that I'm out of drawn comb. So I'm just pushing that together. And the next bit is to get this set up down there um, and get the bees in the box. I'm going to put the queen in and leave the caged for a few days to make them stay and take it from there. Here's the uh, little nuke. This was the cutout I did yesterday from the fibro wall from the outside. And I, yeah, they moved in by their own accord, so I'm hoping the queen's in there. I'm not gonna disturb them. I'll leave them be, so to speak. And I've just set up this new box right here. So I've got the queen inside in a cage. I'll show you now. So, all I've done is I didn't move her into a different cage, but I've got her sitting in here, taped to the frame. I'm going to leave her in there a few days. And now I'll just move the other bees into here using the bucket method. I've shown you before so I reckon they'll climb up um, through the hole out of the bucket up where she is and then I'll be able to put them on the base uh, tomorrow first thing they're humming quite a lot because they haven't got their queen right with them I think that's about to change so just pop on and it's going to be a bit of spillage as usual. I've just got to give them a bounce to get them off the uh, filter here. So this lot that have flown out. I 
won't be able to get to it. So what I might try as an experiment this time is to open the vent down here and that'll give an alternative way in, but I won't do it right away. I'm just going to leave them there for a while. So I can put the lid on. So as, as before, so I'll leave them be and uh, follow up, probably might only give them a few hours this afternoon, I'll, I'll pop them on later in the afternoon and then they can get oriented in, in the morning. Now it's been a few hours, so I'm hoping they've all climbed up there to get with their queen and that they're preferably none left in the bucket. But even if they're still in the bucket, that's what happened with this little uh, nuke box from yesterday. I just leave the bucket there and they'll climb in on their own accord. They did overnight. They took a while to get started. So I'm hoping they're all in there and all I'll do is lift it up and then on the baseboard I've got sitting next to it. Uh, it's meant to be raining tonight so I just want to get them all tucked away before that happens. So. Uh, Let's get it into it. Let's get into it. So I'll pop around the other side. Move that a bit more your way. Same process as I've done on previous videos. So I'm just going to pick it up and move it over in one easy sweep, hopefully. Got a bit of weight there. Still a lot of bees not up in the box. But most of them are in. So just like I said before, some of them are coming out of the entrance. So I'm just gonna tip this box over them to find their own way in. And leave it at that. It's not quite square on there, they're starting to come out. It's got them closed up. Some of them are heading up um, the back wall there. So there are a few left in the bucket. So I just tip the bucket over and they can start coming out. And now we just have this little group. So it's only a tiny percentage of the colony. So definitely the bulk of them are inside. These ones will crawl in over in a bit of time, hopefully before it starts raining. So I think so far, I would call this one a success. <laughs> 